Captain C.A. Richardson here from Flats Class YouTube with another fishing tip. Today I'm out here in the marsh and one of the tried and true lures I have used over the decades has been the gold spoon. This happens to be a green one but I have a gold one here. When you're targeting redfish, I don't think there's a more effective lure that you could have in your tackle bag like the spoon. The spoon allows you, if you will, to cover water quickly and effectively. It mimics many things in the marsh uh, or, or the flats, whether it be pinfish or here in the marsh it might be pogies or marshmallows. What I like to do uh, when I'm setting up for spoon fishing is have a seven foot medium heavy to heavy action rod. I'm talking five and six power rods. Falcon makes some really nice ones. Uh, they have one called the Red Spin in the Low Rider Salt Series, and in the brand new Clear Water Rod Series that Falcon's coming out, we actually have a spoon spinnerbait rod uh, specifically for this technique. I spool it up on a little bit larger reel. This is a 3000 high speed reel. I like it because it's got a large arbor, which allows you to pick up line quickly and move the spoon. I load that with some 20, 15 to 20 pound braid. I like a little heavier braid here in the marsh because it, I'm running through razor grass and around points with oysters. Uh, in a flats fishing situation, you could definitely get by with 10 or 15 pound braid. Attached to that is a short section, probably anywhere from 18 to 24 inches long, of Seaguar fluorocarbon. Now you don't have to use super heavy fluorocarbon. I'm using 25 pound Seaguar fluorocarbon. Um, most of the time you're going to be catching redfish, you will ca catch the occasional snook in South Florida. So if you want to beef it up to 30 pound or even 40 pound, there's, there's no problem with that. This is an alpha bait that drives fish to it. So they pick up the lure and they're running behind it. They really never see the leader in front of, uh, in front of the lure itself, so you're not going to hurt yourself. But the lighter the leader, the more action and flutter this spoon will have. Now the spoons that I've been using have been the AquaDream spoons. They're somewhat overbuilt. They have a lot of flash. You can see there's a scale pattern on this particular bait. They come with a heavy duty split ring. Now what I do um, suggest is that you add a swivel. I like to use a number seven swivel. And I'll, I'll bring you up here where you can see some of this. I've got a number seven swivel, which is about a 120 pound swivel. It'll, it'll withstand a lot. You want a tough swivel. It's not going to diminish the action. And, and buy yourself a good quality pair of split ring pliers to attach it to these split rings on the spoon itself. That's, that's basically it. The, the method that you're going to use to work the lure is nice long smooth cast and reel it at a comfortable pace. These baits excel when you're using them around lots of minnow baits or mullet, uh, cloudy days, windy conditions, silty sandy water is ideal for throwing spoons. And I think you'll be surprised how many redfish you catch. Hey, Captain C.A. Richardson checking out at Flats Class YouTube. Catch you next week.